Hey, what's up, guys? It's Ryan Share here again with Dex3. Uh, this video actually um, applies to Red Mobile 3 as well, the brand new Red Mobile 3 software, mainly because the library functions, the browser in Dex3 and Red Mobile 3, are almost identical, except for the fact that uh, Dex3's browser will also allow you to import music video files in addition to audio and karaoke. So the the this quick tip video. Uh, is based on a question we get asked a lot, and that's how to utilize uh, your history, uh, a specific gig, let's say. Uh, again, you know, if you had a really great gig, you know, you, music you played kept everyone dancing all night, you want to go back and reuse that same playlist of music. A couple ways you can accomplish this. Uh, the first thing to point out here is on the left side of the browser, the navigation pane on the left, under special lists, you have a history list now. It's been in previous versions. The only difference in the new version 3 is that you get date and time stamps on your tracks in the history. So as you can see right here on the far right side in the middle pane, uh, next to your track titles and, and artists, you will see loaded on 1-2015. Obviously, in my case, that's that's what this one shows. And you will see the time in which it was played that night. So you get the date and you get the time. Uh, so what that allows you to do, even though it's a running log, you can easily ascertain you know, what songs you played during a specific date. Uh, now with multi-track selection, you can select that date range. So the idea here is that if you want to use um, a specific gig's play playlist of music again for another gig, no matter how far back in the dates it goes, uh, or you know how years ago or whatever, you can select that range and do one of two things. You can select those songs and send them to the side list, you know your active side list here, which is pretty much what you work, you know your workflow list throughout the course of your gig, or you can actually send it to a created user list for permanent storage. So it's always there that you can reuse it. So I'll show you both things real quickly here. So you click on history to access the history list. I'm gonna go down here, and let's see. All right, I got a few songs that I played on 122. So on 122, I had an excellent gig. I'm gonna reuse these tracks uh, first in my side list. So I get to my gig, you know what? Let me just start off by playing these tracks. That was a heck of a gig. Let me go and select that track range. So what you do is click on the very track, top track in the list of tunes, click on the very top track, and then go down to the last track within that date range. Obviously, you're going to have probably a much bigger list than I do. Most of these uh, these history lists here were generated based on previous tutorial videos. So we're going to select that track range by clicking on the top track in that range, going to the very bottom track, and holding down Shift on your keyboard. Either Mac or Windows, this will work the same way. Hold down Shift and click the last track. As you see, it'll highlight all the songs within that date range. And I can do a couple things here. I can just drag and drop over here. Just click and drag. Doesn't matter which of the highlighted tracks you click on to drag. It'll drag all. Or you can right click. And from the drop down menu, select send to side list auto mix. And there you go. So now I've got this list from that date that I can reuse now on my gig. Either manually play from here by loading tracks with a controller, mouse, keyboard, whatever, or you can use auto mix and it'll play through the list in order. So that's one way to re reuse a specific date. Uh, the other way would be to permanently create a, wait, uh, a playlist from it under user lists. So first we'll right click here on the left hand side of the browser and select new playlist. We'll call it Ryan's Shindig. <laughs> so there we go, we'll create it, it'll be empty. All right, we got this empty list here. So let's go back to our history, and this time we'll take a different day. Let's go down here. What do we got here on the 24th? All right, there we go. Ooh, click that button. And here we go. On the 24th, select the first track within that day, that date range, and select the last. Once again, doesn't matter how many tracks you select. It'll do them all at once the same way, even though I'm only selecting like five or six here. You can select as many as you want and perform the same function. 
So now that I've got these tracks selected, now I want to permanently move them to Ryan Shindig, um, the playlist. I can just click, click on any of the highlighted songs and drag, just literally drag over here. You'll get the little plus sign and drop it. Now if I go click on the playlist, there's my tracks. So now those are permanently there, stored in a user list for future use. Anytime you want to go back and play that specific gig, there you go, you've got it. So you may even want to uh, use this as, you know, use a date or something for the user list name uh, so you'll know exactly what it is. Uh, so that's as easy as it gets, really, to basically go back in and reuse a specific date, uh, a date range in, in history. Um, you can play from history directly if you want to, but probably the best thing to do is send it to the side list or generate a playlist from it for permanent use. So that's a DEX3 and Red Mobile 3 quick tip. If you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments section below the video. Thanks.